I just did this collab with H Dub. <sighs> I can't even express to you guys how stupid I feel. Like I was editing this and I had to like edit out a huge chunk of the conversation because I had too much apple juice and I feel so badly for H-Dub. But you know, we, we live and we learn, we make our mistakes, we do stupid things when we're uh, off the juice. I don't know, I'm like, I can't stop thinking about it. Like, damn, I, I really kind of fucked with this guy's time like that. Uh, but you know, we, we had fun for what it was. I, I jumped on a collab with him. He was kind enough to, uh, you know, give me some of his time. I, I feel like I owe him, uh, I probably owe him some shard pulls or something. I'm gonna ask him if he'll do the, do the honor. Polarium's touching a new low. This post came out 19 hours ago. Before, during Prism events, free-to-play could compete two events to get two shots at the pool. Now, even when doing both events, you're only going to be able to pull one. Great job, Polarium. Always find a new way to disappoint us. Now, what exactly is he referring to? Well, there is currently, and I gotta wait for Shamail to do his thing, there's currently a Prism event or prism summon pool thing right now going on for freya as the headline champion but you also have Steltis, you've got uh, candy you've got harima of course you have pythion this dude wither the crown geomancer if you're looking for like there's some pretty decent champions in here beck can solo but uh, i don't really see people use them anymore it costs 40 to summon one champion and there's events here that you can see you have one from sand devil gives you 20 you have another event from, where is it, uh, is it this one? No. Well, that's a tournament. Uh, event over here, is it this one? No, it's not that one. Dungeon Divers, there you go. You get another 20 here, that's 40, but you only get one. In past events where they've done this for quote-unquote free-to-play, you could at least get two pulls off doing some events. And um, a lot of people were asking like, oh, is it worth doing? the the events to try and get the prism crystals at the end of the day like yeah it kind of is because it's free to play and you, you just you know crazier things have have happened but ultimately that decision uh it's kind of up to you now let's see what people are saying get ready for a 40 sacred deck of fates coming soon that's insane <laughs> scared is what i am right now 40 sacreds 40 scared deck of fates coming soon that's cool i'll just keep saving my shards yeah, if they, if they, here's the thing. The deck of fates that's coming out soon is supposed to be for Freya. And I'm letting you guys know right now, if it's anything more than 20, I'm not pulling. I was going to pull, I was going to do, um, you know, a shard video and pull for it. But I, I, I promise you right now, bro, if it's not, if it's not exactly 20 or, or less, I'm not doing it. If, it. if it's 21, I'm not doing it. But I'm gonna wait a little bit to see what the numbers are. I think Saf is gonna do a video, probably breaking it down. Or I'll, you know, come here to Reddit. This entire event has basically been an escalation of the money grab for every chance they've had. I mean, running a 2x during a week right before a fusion, that's true. Really off-putting. Easiest skips, at least, that's true. Easiest of skips. Actually, if the deck of fate even had cost 50 sacreds but came with a soul, that would be awesome by me. What? Bro, what? Do you... <laughs> Is he trolling? There's something wrong with the sentence. He says he's totally fine paying 50 sacreds for Freya if it just came with a soul. I mean, like, what? A one-star soul? A five or six-star? Even then, would you would you pay 50 sacreds? Because I wouldn't pay 50 sacreds. That's, that's, that's why this guy's getting a bunch of negative 16s or uh, down votes. And the reason why this is a problem is because Polarium riffs off of whatever it is that you guys pay for, right? So for an example, if they see that everybody's buying skins, well, guess what? They're going to start selling skins. And if they see that people are continuing to buy skins, they're going to keep offering skins. If I could find... Here, here you go. Skins, right? This whole i mean i did a video on this but basically they saw that people were willing to pay for skins and guess what people are willing to pay for skins now if people start becoming more than willing to pay 50 sacreds for where's uh where's it for freya for a deck of fates what do you think they're gonna do that's going to be the new standard it's not a good thing it's mostly stupid that half of the dungeons including sand devil don't count towards dungeon divers dungeon dungeon divers <laughs> Dungerion Divers is the most stupid event of the whole game. Two ways 
that both require a ton of energy and don't overlap, it's brutal. Most dungeons, not counting for dungeon divers, was always dumb, but it's even worse when they run events for dungeon divers and don't count and the dungeons don't count for it. Yeah. Oh, side note. If you guys are at the point where you can start collecting Loki's second phase, I strongly encourage you to go ahead and try to get his fifth soul because that's a huge boost to stats and capabilities just all over the place. Like we can go uh, talk about this in another, in another video, but that, this is how you do it. You earn flags from campaign, dungeons, faction wars, arena, and clan boss. You can earn up to 75 a day. That's 75, 150, 225. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven times two, 14. So two weeks for the next two weeks, you have to do this. If you want to get the five-star soul, then I would, I would highly recommend that you go out of your way for this. But actually, let me throw, let me throw my, uh, let me throw this team back in. It's just so they can keep having constant events, so players always feel like they should be doing something without having all the events overlap. If Sand Devil counted towards DD, then we could double dip right now with those two events and tournaments. They should rename Dungeon Divers though, call it just the Gear Looters, and allow all gear looting to be counted. So just throw in Hydra, CB, Curse City, let it be, uh, let it, let it not count forging gear, but let it. Not, uh, there's no issue with it anyway. It's really so they can milk the player base for as much money as possible. Ultimately, yes. And again, <laughs> this isn't something I would I would pay for. I mean, the the last video that we talked about, the the one that I just brought up when I started this video, uh, with I with my collab with my collab with H Dub talked about a guy who spent seven hundred dollars, and part of that seven hundred dollars that he spent was to chase Freya to chase legendaries in the prism event. Now the prism event, the prism um, summoning pool doesn't actually have a mercy system. So he was just like throwing money at it to try and get whatever it is that he wanted to get, but ultimately he didn't get it. But I mean, that's that's the, de the target demographic that raid has for people who want to participate or how should I word this? The target demographic, the target audience are the Krakens. And people who are willing to spend a crap ton of money for something that doesn't have a mercy system. And, you know, there's a lot of them. And player makes their money off of this. My, might as well remove it as a free reward. It's purely a whale. It's purely for whales from the start. Yeah. Raid Shadow Legends is the only gacha game that gets less rewarding over time. Damn. The only game where you need to do more for less as the game ages. Every day feels like the game gets a little less free to play friendly than before. Not sure how that was even possible. 10 out of 10, Polarium. I've got some time, if you've got some time to.